Ghana, the land of gold, a land rich in resources, but scared by a growing epidemic, illegal mining, or what we call here Galamse. What's driving the rise of illegal mining? Who are the real corporates behind this destructive practice? Today, we will explore the monsters that fuel Galamse, hidden forces you may not see, but whose influence is deeply felt. Our first monster lives far from Ghana, in the heart of the world's largest economy, the United States. You may not think that the inflation rates or interest rate hikes in the US have anything to do with what happens here, but they play a crucial role. When inflation rises or interest rate falls in the US, investors around the world turn to gold as a safe haven. This drives up global gold prices, creating a ripple effect that reaches all the way to the rural landscapes of Ghana. Higher gold prices mean higher profits for anyone who can get their hands on it, legally or illegally. Galamse thrives because of this. People see a way to make quick money, driven by global economic forces they barely understand. The second monster is invisible but powerful. The US dollar and gold move in opposite direction. When the dollar weakens, gold prices rise. A weak dollar means more demand for gold from buyers worldwide, making gold even more valuable. For illegal miners here in Ghana, this creates a perfect storm. With a global demand soaring, there's more opportunity to sell gold at higher prices on the black market. The result? More people to take illegal mining operations, hoping to cash in while the dollar struggles. The third monster is perhaps the most unpredictable, geopolitical uncertainty. When the world is in crisis, whether through wars, economic sanctions, or political instability, investors rush toward gold as their safe haven. During this time, gold prices skyrocket. This sends a clear message to illegal miners. Now is the time to act. In moments of global instability, Galamse operations expand rapidly. Desperate to make the most of rising prices, miners dig deeper, faster, and with more destructive methods. The monsters behind Galamse, the US economic condition, dollar strength, and global uncertainty may seem distant, but their impact is devastating right here at home. These forces far beyond Ghana's borders have fueled the illegal mining epidemic as global gold prices surges. So does the damage to our land and our water and our future. The water we used to drink are no longer safe. Our lands are being destroyed. And yet, miners keep coming because they can make money. To fight these monsters, you must not only confront the illegal miners, but also understand the larger forces at play. Only then can we protect our environment, our people, and the legacy of this beautiful land. The monsters behind Galamse may seem powerful, but together we can take control. The time to act is now. Stop illegal mining, stop Galamse. I hope today we've learned something new about what is pushing the Galamse that might not be obvious to all of us. If you like this content, like and subscribe. God bless our homeland Ghana.